Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents one of America's best-loved operettas, Blossom Time, starring Gordon McRae and his guest star, Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we bring you the great Sigmund Romberg operetta, based on the life and music of Franz Schubert. Blossom Time. <laughs> Mitzi in tonight's performance, you will hear the charming soprano of the Metropolitan Opera, Nadine Connor. As we turn back the pages of time, I become the composer, Franz Schubert. It all began in blossom time in Vienna. I was seated at a table in a small outdoor cafe with my closest friend, Baron Schobert. It was spring in Vienna, and the springtime of my life. Ah, what a day. Did you ever see such a springtime, Schobert? Look at that sky. At the moment, I'm more interested in my stomach. Let's order everything on the menu. Oh, now, now, Schobert, remember I'm just a poor composer. A great composer like Franz Schubert shouldn't have to worry about material things. Your thoughts should be on youth and spring and music. Oh, they are, my friend, they are. And what inspiration I get on a day like this. Birds are darting, butts are starting, hand in hand, go girl and boy. Very charming, but more calming is the wine cup's golden joy. I would roam from my home far across the sea. My joy best is expressed in a melody. What more royal, comrade loyal, greater blessings can you tell? Cease your pondering, wine and wandering, friendship heart will lose its spell. Oh, gentle April, who blesses the earth with caresses, be kindly and give me the girl of my heart. Upon her soft maiden bosom let sweet lilacs blossom While I sing her praises my springtime heart Oh, how the world laughs in springtime Tis ever known as love's own springtime Why are we waiting, the birds are mating in every tree they chirp and sing And in the green forest flowers We'll twine a wreath of snowy flowers Why do we tarry? It's time to marry Come pluck the blossoms of the spring Oh, how the world laughs in springtime Tis ever known as love's own ringtime Why are we waiting? The birds are mating in every tree they chirp and sing And in the green forest flowers We'll twine a wreath of snowy flowers Why do we tarry? It's time to marry Come pluck the blossoms of the spring Pardon me, but you're Baron Schober, aren't you? Uh, yes, I... Uh... Uh, don't you remember me? And after giving me your key and everything, why, Baron Schober. Why, Baron Schober. Uh, what key? The key to your ice skates. <laughs> My ice skates? Why, I haven't been ice skating since I was ten years old. Ten? Why, you told me you were twelve. Oh, you're, you're Mitzi. 
Mitzi Cran. That's right. This is Mitzi, the daughter of the court jeweler. Mitzi, may I present Mr. Schubert? How do you do? You're not Franz Schubert, the great composer? <laughs> well, I, I am a composer. Oh, why, I know many of your songs. Oh, I'm honored to meet you. Oh, thank you, Miss Kranz. I'm delighted to meet you. Baron Schubert, the lady sitting at that corner table wonders if you will spare her a moment of your time. Uh, oh, yes, it's, uh, it's Madame Bella Bruna. Uh, excuse me a moment. I'll get rid of her as quickly as possible. Isn't it a beautiful day? Yes. There's excitement in the air today. I felt it the moment you sat down at the table. Well, I felt it too. You know, moments like this have been the inspiration for composers. A lovely girl, a spring day, a lonely man. It's like a legend, a fairy tale, a golden moment out of a storybook. Once on a time, in a kingdom by the sea, lived a young prince, sad and lonely. Set free by one only. Weary he waited while years sped along. Came then a maid, pure and holy. Love broke the spell, so the story books tell. Mitzi asked to study music with me, and from that day on, life took on a new meaning, a new excitement. Sometimes when the lesson was over, Schober would stop by, and the three of us would linger at the piano over one of my songs. And sometimes, as we sang, Mitzi would look at me, and I would wonder if she guessed that every song I wrote was written for her. <laughs> a lovely song, Mr. Schubert. Don't you think so, Baron Schober? One of the most beautiful melodies he's ever written. What are you going to call it, Franz? Simply a, a serenade. Oh, let's sing it again, Mr. Schubert. All right. On the window deep in the shadow stand I here
My songs were all for her, but she never guessed. And later at a party that Baron Schober and I attended at Mitzi's house, I think everyone there knew but Mitzi. You're in love with her, aren't you, Flats? Is it so obvious? Oh, obvious. As far as you're concerned, there's no one else in the world but her. Speaking of romance, Schober, is Madame Bella Bruna here? Madame Bella Bruna is here, and uh, so is her husband. Oh. Oh, no, no, that little flirtation came to nothing, Flats. Schober, uh, I've been wanting to talk to you. You've always been such a dashing gentleman with the ladies. Oh? I, uh, I, I wondered if, if... well. Yes? I've written a love song. Here it is. Would, would you give it to Mitzi for me, and would you tell her how I feel? Of course I will, Franz. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Oh, here you are. Oh, both of you. We were all wondering what had become of you. Come, let's go out in the garden. Uh, Mitzi, uh, just a moment. Franz has composed a new song just for you. Oh, really? Oh, Mr. Schubert, that's wonderful. Here is the music. You must sing it. Franz, is the orchestra ready? <laughs> well, I'm here at the piano. Oh, what is this inscription? For Mitzi from Franz Schubert. Oh, how lovely. The zephyr murmurs to his love the trees. The lilacs yield their honey to the bees. The nightingale sobs out his accents long. While I can only breathe to you in song. While I can only breathe to you my yearning song. Go watch my love. out his perfume to the rain. The sunshine calls the traitor back again. The sea pursues his love, the lady moon. And all the world is wrapped in lovely tune. So let my heart receive your gentle answer soon. Song, Mr. Schubert. Now is the time to speak for me, my friend. I'll wait for her answer in the garden. Mitzi, Franz Schubert has written this song to tell you of his love. He wants you for his wife. Oh, but I... I cannot marry him. I don't love him. You must love him, Mitzi. You're the whole world to him. All the beauty in his mind and heart are yours. Oh, I cannot help how I feel. I cannot change how I feel. It's you I love. Oh, Mitzi, my dearest. I love you, too. I always have. Oh, my darling. But it is for my friend, Franz Schubert, I promise to speak. Whatever can I say to Franz? Say nothing. Franz. <laughs> Forgive me, my friends, for listening, but I understand. And it will bring me great joy to know that you both are happy. Now, Mitzi, go tell your father the good news. Come, darling. Goodbye, Mr. Schubert. We shall never forget you. Why, how, how could I have thought, even for a moment, she would ever love me? I have my music, my eternal companion... That will never desert me. Oh, my music is unavailing. Happiness cannot be for me. Still my passion shall never fail.
And now back to the second act of Blossom Time, starring Gordon McRae as Franz Schubert and Nadine Connor as Mitzi. After that night when I knew Mitzi was lost to me, I tried to lose myself completely in my music. For weeks, I hardly left my room, and I saw no one. And then one night, I had a strange caller. I'm sorry to bother you so late in the evening, Mr. Schubert. I am Count Scharntorf. Yes? I would like you to write an opera for my wife, Madame Bella Bruna. Well, I should be honored, Count Scharntorf. Circumstances may not permit me to talk with you again, but I want you to know that I have arranged payment for you in my will, uh, providing, of course, that you accept the assignment. Your will? Whether we meet again, Mr. Schubert, depends entirely upon the accuracy of my aim. A duel? Let us say rather an affair of honor. This man is in love with my wife. She admits it. And certainly I know Baron Schober's reputation. Baron Schober? We meet at dawn. Oh, now, Count Schantoff, this, uh, this is all a mistake. Schober is very much in love with Mitzi Kranz, the daughter of the court jeweler. You know Schober? He is my closest friend. Count Shantov, let those who have been fortunate enough to find happiness live and enjoy it. Please, sir, I, I beg you. All right. Have Baron Schober send his seconds to me. Perhaps we can arrange a reconciliation. Thank you. I'll send word to him at once. Good night, Mr. Schubert. We will meet again. Good night, Count Shantov. I sent a messenger to Baron Schober's home telling him to come to my rooms as quickly as possible. Waiting for him to arrive, I began thinking of the mysteries and the wonders of the universe, pondering why one man loves and finds his love returned, and why another loves in vain. And suddenly I heard music, the most beautiful music I had ever heard. And I could hear Mitzi's voice singing in my heart. And then all at once I knew the answer. For that music was born of love and pain and heartbreak. finished writing the music, there was a knock at the door. 
when I opened it, there was Franz Schober. And Mitzi was beside him. Franz, I was so happy to get your message. Mitzi and I have wanted to come to see you so many times. But we didn't know if... if you would want to see us. Why, of course I want to see you. I count you two the best friends I have in the world. Come in, come in. Oh, it's so good to see you, Franz. Thank you, Mitzi. Schober, Count Shantoff was here. He wants to speak to your seconds to arrange a reconciliation. Oh, thank heavens for that. Franz, I... I don't know how to thank you. Now, don't try, my friend. Just be happy together. Always. Oh, we will, Franz. We will. My friends, my dear friends, I give my song of love to you. Take it and sing it. For it belongs to people like you who meet and, and fall in love in blossom time. You are my song of love. Melody immortal Echo of paradise Heard through heaven's portal Your music is singing Bringing secrets sweet In its song to me Ladies and gentlemen, lovely Nadine Connor will be back in just a moment. And meanwhile, our thanks to Scott Douglas, Bill Johnson, Bill Reeve, and our entire company. Blossom Time with book and lyrics by Dorothy Donnelly and music adapted from Schubert by Sigmund Romberg was prepared for the Railroad Hour by Gene Holloway. And the Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. Today... America's most distinguished career women wear the uniforms of our armed services. Partners in service with the young men of America, co-equal with them in pay, benefits, and opportunities for training and promotion, these women play an essential and exciting part in our national life. Thousands of careers are still open to women over 18 who are high school graduates in good health. Women with college degrees, registered nurses, and qualified medical specialists are urged to qualify for officers' commissions. And now here again is charming Nadine Connor. Oh, thank you, Gordon. It was a delight to sing Blossom Time. Uh, what do you have scheduled next week? Well, Nadine, we have a delightful Rogers and Hart tune fest. I married an angel, which is the way I've always felt about my wife, Sheila. <laughs> the one I marry next week is the wingy type angel, however, <laughs> straight from heaven. And uh, Lucille Norman is going to swoop down to sort of enchant us all. Well, I'll be listening. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Nadine, and come back real soon. All aboard! Well, sir, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night, when I marry an angel, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Blossom Time has been presented by special arrangement with Century Library Incorporated of New York. Gordon McRae can be seen in Warner Brothers' Starlet. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads. Now keep tuned to your Monday night of music on NBC. <laughs> Hear the voice of Firestone with Reza Stevens next on NBC.